Hello friends, welcome to the sixth video lecture of the series. So in this, this is the third and the very easy problem of free body diagram. As we have already covered some problems on trusses and beams previously, I hope you can solve this by yourself and then just match the answer. So the problem approach that you are using may be a little bit different from what I am using here, but anyway, solution will come exactly the same in the end. So we will start a verb approach by analyzing the structure here first. So let's investigate the problem. So this is a trust, ma trust member which is subjected to a load at some location which is offset from the center. So you can say that P is acting at a distance of L1 from one end and L2 from the other end. But L1 is not equals to L2. So from intuition if you imagine that the two persons are holding a block and if the block is not at the center, if the block is at center, then obviously the, they both will carry the same load. But if you shift the load to one side, then one need to apply more load to hold the block. And similarly, we can say that the reactions and forces in the structure will not be same due to the unsymmetry of load here. So in this example, a truss structure is mounted on two supports and subjected to loading. So how many constraints are there? There are two constraints. So one is the pin joint that can't move in both the directions. So definitely he will not be happy to avoid that motion automatically. So there will be a reaction force. So this is the reaction forces of pin joint. That is one in the horizontal direction and one in the vertical direction. If you want to remember this, just assume yourself as a pin joint and there is a wall in front of you. The wall will not let you move as it applies force on you. Now, if you are Superman and apply too much force to break the wall, then definitely there will be no constraint. And in terms of mechanic of failure, mechanic of uh, material of mechanics, will term it as a failure. But in case of a roller joint, it is allowed to move in one direction, so there will be no reaction in that direction, and that direction will be horizontal in that the, in that case. As you know, that roll in roller support only you will get one one reaction that is in the vertical direction. So. Let's start our mathematical equations. So as we remember first, we need to isolate the structure and replace the support by its reaction. And then we will find the reactions. So starting from our equilibrium conditions, so this is the structure. At point A, we are getting VA and HA. And at point B, we are getting only VV. No HA, no HB on point B. As you know, it is a roller support. So now I'm applying the equilibrium conditions. So first I'm taking moment about point B. You can also take moment about point A. It's totally your wish. But as we have discussed previously, you have to take either at B or either at B, either at A or either at B to reduce the number of unknowns and to make the equations easy. So when you'll take this moment about point B, the reaction you will get is this thing. Now you, as you can see, VA is acting in the upward direction. So any sign convention you can take. What I'm taking here is I'm taking clockwise as positive. So VA multiply the perpendicular distances length of AB, which is equals to L1 plus L2. So when VA is multiplied by L1 and L2, it will create a clockwise moment. Similarly, P, when P is multiplied by L2, it will create an anti-clockwise moment. So P will get a negative sign and VA we are assuming clockwise as positive. So VA term will getting a positive sign. So when you solve this, you will get VA value as P into L2 by L1 plus L2. So this is the one equation that you are getting. Now when you will resolve, when you will equate the forces in X direction, you will get that HA is equal to 0 because, VA, because in this structure only P is acting which is a vertical force. If P is inclined at any angle, so that means you have to resolve the, resolve the force and you'll get some of the horizontal component and some vertical component. But if this is a simple case, so HA will come as 0. Similarly, when you'll equate the force in the Y direction, what you'll get is VA plus VB minus P. So what is the thing is we are considering upward forces as positive since VA and VB are acting upward here and P is acting downwards, so VA plus VB minus P is equal to 0. I hope why this minus sign is coming is clear to you. So what you will get VB is P minus VA. Now when you solve this equation, you are getting VA in terms of P and you are getting VB in terms of P. So just substituting any, any um, value of VA and VB, we are calculating VB here. Now you need to make one conclusion here. Let's so see, since L1 is greater than L2, Definitely VB will be greater than V2. 
similarly uh, if you will get if you will shift the load to the side of a just to the to the uh, point a then l2 will become greater so at that point va will become greater okay so let's take a force balance at joint so this is called method of joint in which we impose the equilibrium conditions at the joint here we need to find the forces in bc and bd what we need to do first is we need to resolve the forces first and then we will then we will apply the same our equilibrium conditions so when you will do this your vb is acting in a vertical direction and this force in bc since it is inclined at angle theta we will resolve this and we will get one as fbc sin theta in the vertical direction and fbc cos theta in the horizontal direction similarly for the member of bd since bd is not at any angle it is in horizontal direction only there will be no vertical component for force in bd okay so i think this uh, this res uh, force resolution is done so to find the forces in bc and bd let's draw a free body diagram that we have already covered now equate the forces in y direction so you will get vb plus fbc sin theta is equals to 0 you can get the value of force in bc since since vb we have already um, calculated in the previous section so you will get force in fbc force in bc here then substituting the value of vb in terms of pc because p is the un p is a known value and l1 and l2 will be the known value when you will start solving this equation vb and va are we are calculating so we will substitute the value of vb here similarly equation of uh, some summation of forces in x direction will be zero so this equation will come and again when you will substitute the value okay yeah again when you will substitute the value you will get the force in bd so this was a very easy numerical very easy problem and uh, uh, i think this is good so if you like the video please subscribe for more interesting videos thank you